Hey guys, what's up? Today's topic is all about guinea pig pregnancy. So this was Famika and I had her shaved as she and Fershel got pregnant during the time of summer which is kind of risky for them. Now I know it's not ideal but it happened so I didn't really expect it to happen. During this time, Fumika and Fershel got pregnant at the same time. But there's just one week interval when Fumika gave birth. So, how long is guinea pig pregnancy? Again, we don't advise breeding. Unless they are ready and the criteria has been set. And you have new homes ready for them as well and new and spacious cage for the babies. Typically, guinea pig pregnancy lasts for about 59 to 72 days, averagely 6 to 5 days. Do remember that the longer the guinea pig pregnancy is, the chances that your guinea pig is carrying just a single or two pups. So if she's carrying more pups, then you know that she's gonna give birth sooner than later. First litters tend to be smaller than subsequent litters. Females do become very big during pregnancy. So, what are the signs and symptoms? At week 1, there is no estrus found and nothing happens usually. It's just like a normal day for them. But if you've marked their estrus cycle and you've noticed that they were not in heat during those times, then chances are that she's pregnant. At week 2, they will start to drink more water. At week 3, they will start gaining weight. There will be a tightening of the abdominal muscles and will pace around the cage. So you have to monitor her weight weekly. If she's weighing 20 or 30 grams up consistently weekly, then she might be pregnant. At week 4, an experienced breeder will be able to feel small fetuses. At week 5, usually looks noticeably pregnant taking on a rather rounded appearance, you will be able to feel the outlines of the fetuses. So as you can see, Fumika is very much pregnant during his face and I can feel the bony prominences of her fetus. At week 7, you'll be able to see and feel the quickening phase. This is when the pups tend to move and kick. You would also notice that her nipples are kind of swollen but this couldn't be just an indicator of pregnancy, as some sow's nipples just get matured but not necessarily mean that they are pregnant. So I was just examining her fetus this time, just to hear the baby's heartbeat. So again, this is the perfect example of quickening face where you could see the fetus moves and kick. So depending on how you are very observant to your guinea pig, if you've noticed this right away then chances are that she's going to be delivering her pup or pups 10 to 15 days after this. But if you're not very keen on observing your guinea pig, then she might be delivering her pups or possibly within the next few days or next few weeks. And at week 9, it may become difficult for the sow to move around, but she should still be active and eat and drink as normal. The pelvic bones will separate sometime during this week and you can feel it under her rump or her butts. So this is where you'll feel the symphysis pubis or under her pelvic bones. You can check if you can fit your finger in there and if it's fit then she's gonna give birth soon. So how do we take care of our pregnant guinea pig? So first is we have to separate the sow from the boar to avoid stress. Boars tend to hump their sows even if she's pregnant. It is important to lessen the stress environment of the sow. 
for healthy and prevention of possible abortion of the fetuses. Second is modify their environment. Again, this is in correlation with stress. So you have to put their cage nowhere near the predators like dogs or cats. Again, stress might induce abortion or premature labor and birth which may cause premature pups. And if that happens, the chances of survival is minimal. Next is double dose their vitamin C. Give them 1 ml in the morning and 1 ml in the evening. Pregnant sows need a lot of vitamin C for the immune system of her and her pups as well. You may also mix dextrose powder into their water bottles during the last weeks of pregnancy. This may give more energy for the sow when she's gonna give birth. Take note however that you should not give dextrose powder during the course of her pregnancy to avoid diabetes. Next is give them alfalfa hay. Alfalfa hay is rich in calcium. And calcium is needed for the bone development of their fetuses. Next is you have to provide more hay or grass or banana leaves rather than more pellets. It is also very important to note that pellets give a high percentage of fat during pregnancy. These may lead to oversized pups, which could be very difficult for her to give birth to. Thus, this might cause potential problems or dystocia or difficult in labor. Thus, putting a great risk on the health of your sow and pups, which may cause death. Lastly, give her treats which are kind of sugary for her to prevent the complication of pregnancy, which is pregnancy toxemia. You can give them baby slice of cucumber daily. But again, not too much, just the baby slice will do. And there you have it, the next thing you know, here's how I gave birth already. I'm gonna discuss more about carrying the newborn guinea pigs on my next video or vlog. Stay tuned, please hit like and subscribe. Hanggang sumuli, paalam!